Google, we need to have a talk. Sit down with me, have a cup of coffee. I was really disappointed a few months ago when you made a decision to, hey, let's remove video responses. But now, your latest choice, I don't know if I can forgive you. And I say that sincerely. I say that genuinely. Because I don't know what you've been doing, but you haven't been listening to any consumers. You haven't been listening to any feedback that there's always give us feedback up in the corner. And you must not listen to any of it. Right now, in the description, there's a petition going on to restore what you took away from us. The common system. And I really thought your choice was terrible to take video responses away, but now you've made another choice which I actually think is even worse. Yes, the comment system that you have destroyed on your inter interface is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And what amazes me about yourself, Google, is that I love your search engine. I love YouTube. And back in 2006 when YouTube started, it was the bomb. 2009, YouTube was still the bomb. Yes, YouTube had some later layout changes, which I didn't really care for, but it wasn't anything like you've done now. What you've done now, I don't think is... is redeemable. In other words, you have fucked yourself over. To the point of where there's no return. Right now, I am so confused with what you've done to your website that I can't even tell, as someone who has done software design, who has done transcript and done programming, I can't even tell how to use my YouTube profile and my Google Plus account. For those of you who don't know, we're all being forced to link our YouTube channels with our Google Plus. And among doing so, we get our YouTube linked with our Google Plus page, which I don't, I'm going to explain this how, it, how I see it. I have a Google Plus page for my personal, like a personal Google Plus page with my name, but then I also have another Google Plus page which is linked somehow to my, fa to my uh, YouTube channel. And both of these pages I don't use, both of these pages I don't want, because number one, I do not want to use my real name with YouTube. Google Plus is constantly asking, we want you to switch your name, we want you to switch your name, and I keep choosing, I want Mr. Repsion. I do not want to use my legal name for my YouTube channel. I'm known as Mr. Repsion, that's what I always will be known as Mr. Repsion, not my legal name. And no matter how many times I click it, it still pops up. Comments are completely just screwed up. It's almost as if YouTube wanted to do, do what Reddit has done in terms of comments. And by the way, I'm not a fan of Reddit, but holy crap. The whole Reddit scheme of comments and how comments work in Reddit do not work on YouTube. At all. I can't even tell the newest comments that have ha are being posted on my video. I can't even tell. I can't even respond to them. I do reply to comment, and instead of replying to the comment itself, I have to put at, and then I have to write out their whole entire name, kind of like Facebook. But it's really inconvenient. Not only that, the comments have no character limit. I've already had people post entire par part of books on my comment section, playing around with it, obviously, and then at the end say, fuck you, Google. It was several pages in length. There needs to be a character limit on YouTube comments, obviously. Obviously, I do think that 500 is, a, is way too little, but you could increase it to maybe 1,000, maybe 1,500, but not unlimited like it is right now. Secondly, I'm getting alerts. Every time someone posts a YouTube comment on my videos, I have over 700 videos. I have a lot of views on all of my videos, and I'm constantly getting comments on my older videos, my newer videos, and I'm getting alerts, emails, from YouTube and Google+. Plus. So because somehow my Go YouTube is linked to my Google+, Plus, I'm getting comments on both ends of the spectrum, and they're the same exact comments from Google+, Plus on my actual YouTube channel, and at the same time I'm also getting things from my YouTube channel in my inbox, so I'm having two floods of, of emails from the same thing, from the same comments, being sent to me. And it's great, driving me insane. Because now it's so cluttered with Google+. Plus. Someone, you have new activity on Google+, Plus because obviously someone wrote a comment on Google+, Plus, but the same comment can be found on my YouTube video. It's, it's so confusing. And then when you try to type a comment, as a little checkbox, it says, uh, post your Google Plus profile. I uncheck that and then po pro press post, but it won't let me post unless I, my comment is linked to my Google Plus profile. 
And I'm sitting here, Google, saying, why would you do this? Why would you fuck every single consumer over like this? But here's the thing. You don't listen to anything. You would listen to none of what we give feedback. We say, we don't like this. People do not like Google+. And you're going to eventually have to realize that be forcing people to like it, or forcing people to use it, is going to make people hate it even more. I don't know what your engineers are doing, but they need to get their head together because you are destroying your own interface, your own website. I'm almost to the point that I don't even want to read the comments anymore because it's such a hassle to read and even reply to them. And that's not good. That's not good at all. You want your content creators to connect with their audience? With this change, that's not going to happen. I can sit here with a shadow of a doubt and say that people do not want to use their legal name. People do not want to be forced to use a interface which doesn't work. How can your engineers do this? How can your engineers force people to use an interface which is so buggy that it doesn't work? See, what normally happens when you're making software or you're engineering a website for thousands upon thousands of consumers and users is that you beta test it. You try to get things in, you do beta say, hey, we're offering this, you can test it out, report bugs, so we can try to make this as, as flawless and smooth as possible when we transition. Did you do that? No! You switched everybody over. Every content creator, every YouTuber has this forced layout of comments that doesn't work and is so bugged that we can't even reply and we can't even have civil conversations anymore. And that's where you're wrong. You never force consumers or viewers to use <laughs> your interface when it doesn't work. When it doesn't work. Google? There's a pe petition down below in the description, you can sign that petition. It probably won't do anything. It has thousands of signatures already to revert back to the old comment system. But you are going to be your own downfall. You are destroying your own website. You're taking our audiences away, and you're taking our ability to connect with viewers away, and you're forcing us to use something that doesn't work, that should work, prior before you force everybody to use it. Fuck you, Google.